Has it ever bothered you that household paperwork is so difficult to keep up with? All of these envelopes and notes, they float around the house, they're never in the same place twice, and even though most of it is junk, that just makes it harder to find what you really need when you really need it. Like you finally decided to just return that sweater. Now you gotta remember where you put the receipt. Or that box you shipped last week never made it to the destination, but where's that tab with the tracking number on it? And was your husband going to deal with the car registration, or was that your job? And if so, where is that on? Envelope. Hunting down these missing papers is such an irritating waste of time, especially when it's combined with the fear of losing something important and the pressure of meeting a deadline. Hi, I'm Trisha Childers with Practical Family and Home on Purpose, and if any of this sounds familiar, I promise you are not alone. In fact, household paperwork is such a common source of frustration that I went ahead and produced a mini-series on the subject. And if you'd like to learn more about that series, go ahead and click the link in the description. For now, I am going to help you jumpstart the process by sharing three simple steps for intentionalizing your daily papers. The first step is to gather all of the papers from the entire house. So you hook a bag over your arm and you carry a tray and you tell the kids, we are going on a paper hunt. And you go to every room, open every drawer, look on every shelf, and you gather every single piece of paper. If it's trash, throw it in the bag. If it's worth keeping, place it in the tray. And when you're done, you're going to love that feeling of dumping that entire bag of trash in the recycling bin. And what you're left with in the tray is just the important stuff. Step two is to separate the urgent papers. Take about five minutes and sift through the entire stack of keepers. And every time you see something that has to get taken care of soon, you slide it to the top of the stack. Now that doesn't mean that the other papers are not important, it just means that they aren't urgent. And when that is done, the third step is to take care of those urgent tasks. Don't wait, just do it. Pay that bill, fill out that permission slip, take care of the car registration, keep going until you've taken care of all of the most pressing business. And when that happens, it will feel like someone has opened a steam valve and psh, released all that paperwork pressure. You'll know exactly where your papers are, no more frantic searching. You will have taken care of the most urgent tasks so you can relax, at least for a little while, and you'll have a pretty good idea of what's coming up, so no surprises there. It's going to take time and effort, but it is totally worth it. Of course, this is just a temporary fix. I mean, if you keep doing what you've been doing, pretty soon, yeah, you're gonna find yourself back where you began. The only way to enjoy lasting change is to change our habits, and that's what the Paperwork mini-series is designed to do. In three short lessons, I will show you how to develop efficient routines, not only for your daily papers, but also your long-term file storage, your email inbox, and your digital photos. If you'd like to learn more, click the link in the description to watch the free introduction video to the mini-series. Until next time, thank you for joining me here at Home on Purpose.